hope you are well. Today, in this video, we are going to divide the Arabic alphabet letters into six groups, okay? Six groups. So we are going to know why are we dividing the Arabic alphabet letters into these six groups. So you are going to know how to read, to learn how to read and write in Arabic in only six videos. You have to subscribe to this channel so you can see these six videos, so you can see how to read and write in Arabic language in only these six videos, six lessons. Okay, let's see. Let's see why, okay, the reason why we are going to divide these letters, these Arabic alphabet letters, into six groups. Why mm, it makes each group so unique and essential. Let's see. Okay, the first group, it contains of five letters. Okay, five letters. This group contains of, let's see, what are the, the letters here? Ba, ta, tha, nun, ya. Again, I will repeat. Ba, ta, tha, nun, and ya. Okay, these, these letters has the same shape when it Go with when it's going to be at the beginning of the word or in the middle of the word or at the end of the word in the Arabic language, it has the same shape. Each one of them has the same shape. Okay, okay, but different dots. So it has the same shape here as you can see, but different dots. So maybe ba it has just one dot beneath the letter, but ta it has two dots above the letter. This is what make it different and at the same time it has the same shape when it goes to writing them in the same word. Okay? This is for the first group, for the first category of letters, of Arabic letters. Let's see the next, the second group. Why is it essential and why is it unique? Let's see. So the second one contains of also five letters. Let's see what are the letters. They are Aleph, Dal, Dal, Ra, Zay, Wow. Again, Aleph, Dal, Dal, Ra, Zay, and Wow. These five letters has the same, each one of them has the same rule. It has a rule, which is each one of them doesn't connect from the left of the word. It doesn't connect from the left. And I mean by each one of them doesn't connect from the left, it means it doesn't have to be a helping line. And this is what I call a helping line in Arabic. This is the helping line. So no helping line in the left side of each one of these letters. This is what make it unique for this group, for the second group. Let's see the third group. Why is it essential? Why is it unique? Let's see. So the third one consists of also five letters. Let's see what are the letters. We have Jim, Ha, Kha, Ha, Mi. Again, Jim, Ha, Kha, Ha, and Mi. Okay, these letters are actually have the same shape when it goes to the arc, like here, the jim and ha and kha, it has an arc when it goes to be at the uh, beginning of the word, in the middle of the word, or at the, uh, at the end of the word. So each one of them has an arc. Or it has a circle, a small circle, which is just like an etch, which is ha, the ha, and the meme, the m. This has, these two has a small circle when it goes to writing them in the middle of the word, at the beginning or at the end of the word. This is what makes the third one, the third group, essential and unique with each other. So, let's see the fourth group, then the next group. The fourth has, consists of only four letters. Let's see what are the letters. Sin, Sheen, Sad, Undod, sin, sheen, sod, undod. Okay. The first two, which are sin and sheen, sin and sheen, they have teeth. Teeth. 
<laughs> okay, they have teeth. So Sin and Shin have three teeth. Each one of them has three teeth when it goes to writing them at the beginning of the word, in the middle of the word, or at the end of the word. This is what make it what makes them unique. Let's see about Sad and Dad. Sad and Dad has just one tooth. Just one tooth. See? Sad, one tooth. Dad, one tooth. So this group is actually the teeth group. We call it the teeth group. This is why it is essential. It's unique. It has teeth. Come on. Okay, let's see about the next group, which is the fifth group. So the fifth, it has also, it consists of only four letters. These letters are Ain, Rain, Ain, Rain, Ta, The, Ain, Rain, Ta, The. Okay, these four letters are actually the weird letters, the strange letters. They are so heavy. This is what makes them together, mixed together in this group, in the fifth group, which is the group's name is the strange letters. This is what makes it strange. It has a pronunciation which is strange, like a and dr and ta and dr. This is what makes it strange, so this is what makes it uh, unique and it has it's it mixed together, so it can be the fifth group. Let's see about the sixth group, which is the last group of the Arabic letters. Let's see what makes it unique. Let's see. It consists of only four letters, which are fa, qaf, kaf, lam. Fa, qaf, kaf, lam. Okay, these first two letters, which are fa and qaf, has a small circle, but it has different dots. So fa, it has just one dot, and qaf, it has two dots. This is what makes them mixed together. So let's see the last two letters of the Arabic language, which are the kaf and the lam. Kaf and lam. Okay, kaf and lam, when it goes to writing them in the Arabic language, it is actually, each one of them has dashes. So let's see the kaf. Here we go. This is kaf. This is how we write kaf at the beginning of the word, in the middle of the word, and at the end of the word. This is what makes it essential because it has dashes. Just like lamb, let's see lamb. Lamb at the beginning, lamb in the middle, and lamb at the end of the word. This is what makes this group unique and mixed together. So these are the six group of the Arabic alphabet letters on how we divided them and why we are going to divide them into just six groups and six videos so you can see the six videos and study them very hard so you can just write and read in the arabic language in only six videos only six lessons six videos from five to seven minutes and you are just mastered in the arabic language letters and how to read and write them we are going to divide them you have to subscribe to this channel so you can see to like lingua Ch channel so you can see more videos on how to write and read in the arabic language in those six groups in those six videos we are going to have so many examples in more videos and we are going to have so many conversations you are going to be just happy to master the reading and writing in Arabic language and also to master so many examples and the conversations in the Arabic language. You are so welcome, you have to subscribe and if you have any questions, I am here, my name is Rana Makhloub. You have to go to livelingua.com so you can have a lesson with me. Bye bye, see you guys.